G'day folks, in today's vlog we're going to be looking at some livestock that we acquired late last year that we've just been keeping inside and are breeding up. So we'll start off having a look at the mealworms and then we'll come back and uh, have a bit of a chat about the aquaponics. How's it going folks? A bit of an unboxing of sorts on today's video. We've got this in the mail. It's nothing too fantastic but hey, everyone likes to do an unboxing every now and then. What I've got is some prospecting trays. Um, the sieves that gold miners use. Let's get rid of this box. So it's basically a series of different grades of mesh and I'm going to be using them to sort the mealworms which I'll show you in a tick. So we have some really fine ones. Whoops, sorry about that. That one looks like it's probably around about oh, four mil. Get them all out of the bags and then I'll give you a gander. So just to show you the um, sizings there, we have a half inch, quarter inch, eighth, a twelfth and one twentieth. So these guys here we can sift out different bits and pieces. This top one obviously is so wide the beetles would fall through it. So this one would be using to take out the food scraps. This next one here, um, I'd say most mealworms would fit through here, except for the uh, more mature ones. Um, so this would collect the beetles and the more mature um, worms. Then here, uh, the medium worms probably. Uh, some of the um, larger ones might fit through there. And then down here, we're pretty much all catching everything. And then down here, um, yeah, even the bran, I think, and the oats would get caught in this very fine mesh. Give you a bit of a better look. Um, so I haven't used them before, obviously. I have used my um, aluminum ones or aluminium ones, depending on where you live. And yeah, we use them on the weekend, actually, um, just to separate all the beetles, the larvae and the pupa out of the container. And then we split them up into um, three different containers. What I'll do is I'll um, throw you on the little mount here. We'll go for a wander inside. So just in our little storage area here, where the mushrooms were supposed to be going, we have our boxes. Now these aren't the final boxes. I would like some um, totes that aren't see-through just so we can make them nice and dark. I've turned the light on in here, but normally I don't have the light on. So just to run through what we've got. Up here, we have the pupa that we took out of the other box. And I just saw some movement. Oh, I've already pulled out a beetle through from here today. Oh, there's a beetle, but he looks like he didn't make it. Oh no, he made it. So there you go. This one was hiding from me this morning. Uh, these have hatched out from the pupa. We'll just pop him down in the other beetle box. And we'll go back to the pupa box. There you go, fella. So hopefully I can get this in focus. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not quite sure. But that's the larva from a mealworm. Um, from there, it will hatch out into the beetle, like the one I just showed you. And they actually twitch around a little bit if you um, annoy them. So I don't want to annoy him too much. There's a, a few left in there. That one there has got a brown spot on him, so he might be dead. Uh, but this um, carrot is just in here, so they have some moisture and some wet food for when they hatch. And as you can see, there's a number down in there still. So um, yeah, we'll just shut that up. And then from the smallest to the largest, I'm going to annoy them and put the light on. Sorry, fellas. But we have the really small mealworms in here and you might be able to work out there's a few little bits of fresh so it looks like see if we can turn these guys over and see any of the small fellas no i can't see any there oh yes i can something's alive under all that stuff because every now and then a bit of the um the um the bran and the oats moves i'll just give it a bit of a gentle push no, I can't see any. They're too small, but there are some in there. Um, these guys are very small at this stage. It does look like they're active though, because a lot of these carrot strips are munched on. And I can see some very small sheddings in here, um, like this one down there. So yeah, it's only going to be a matter of time before we start to see some large mealworms in here. There won't be a lot. Um, I don't think there'll be a lot because it's just the leftover eggs and small fellas yeah, they're, they're only fairly tiny at this point in time. And I'd say in two or three weeks time, we'll give them a sieve. And um, yeah, they'll be at a point where you can actually see them. Uh, those bits of carrot they were put in yesterday and I'm swapping them out every second day at the moment. So tomorrow morning, um, they'll be swapped out for some new stuff. It's lucky we have a load of carrots going to flower down the back. 
And over here, we have the actual mealworms. And there's one of the pupas down in there. So one of the mealworms has pupated um, since the weekend. You can see a little mealworm there. And if I turn this upside down, you're going to see some more. Uh, we don't have loads of them, but we've got a, a fair number, enough to start off. We'll probably make out there's a couple of pupa there and some against the wall. So they definitely don't like this light, so I'm probably being a little bit mean. And over here we have our beetles. I have a fair number of beetles. Oh, there's the one I popped in this morning, a little bit um, pale. And they really don't like the light, but we do have a fair number of these guys in here. So I've just turned the light off on the phone here. Uh, so what's going to basically happen is we're going to try and rotate these guys around. Um, eventually we'll have a couple of beetle bins going at one time. Um, but for now what we're going to try and do is sift these guys out weekly or maybe bi-weekly. We'll see how we go with this weekend's um, sifting jobby. And then um, all the bedding down the bottom from the beetle tray will go down the end and it will be the next basically um, yeah, little, little hatchery as such. And then as they progress in age, um, up to the point where they form pupas, they'll be taken out and put into a better pupa home than that. And then eventually there'll be no mealworms left in there. And then on one of the rotations, when we take the beetles out, it will go back into a container that had larvae in it. Uh, not larvae, sorry, the mealworms in it. And yeah, we'll ju just try and create some sort of a rotation. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we'll have enough for um, a bit of a treat every day for the fish. And that's the idea anyway. I think most of these racks will end up being taken up with it at that stage. Um, some for the butcher birds. And yeah, we wouldn't mind trying some ourselves. So uh, just a bit of a quick look at the uh, mealworms. And yeah, we will be doing um, other clips on these guys down the road. Just before we look at the next segment, I just wanted to uh, let you folks know that, yeah, I am taking it easy on YouTube as such. I'm not making those big in-depth clips, just um, trying to pump them out every week. Uh, I just need to take a little bit of time off until we get all our ducks in a row, so to speak, and get some stuff done um, landscape-wise around the backyard. And then um, hopefully we'll have um, the garden in a, such a position that I can yeah, do a couple more how-to clips um, when it comes to setting up gardens and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, just for the time being, um, I'm not going to be um, making as many um, uh, main clips as such, but you will be seeing a lot more of these vlogs um, on the weekend if I don't have a video to post or like this one uh, midweek if I have something else planned for the weekend so um, I do hope you are enjoying them by the way they're pretty much all videos I've shot for the supporters over on YouTube and the farm your own yard page thank you very much members really do appreciate the support uh, but that's enough of that and I just thought I should explain it because there appeared to be some confusion over on the community wall where I've been doing polls lately um, but yeah Enough of that, um, we'll head up to the aquaponics and give you a bit of an update from the other night when we were feeding the fish. Fish. Lots of fish. Do you want to feed the fish? Yes. Already got a cup ready. Hey folks. Just doing a little bit of an evening feed and we're going to get wet, Bianca. Oh no, they're taking it pretty mellow. Oh. They're very mellow. Um, I put a fair bit of iron in the system yesterday. It was down pretty low. I'd say it was probably uh, below 0.5. And um, for some reason, uh, these guys pretty much all went off the feed straight away. I didn't bring it up a lot. Uh, this morning I had another look and it probably looked like two milligrams per litre. But yeah, for some reason they didn't want to eat this morning. So, Oh, I think they got their appetite back. What do you reckon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Um, just another little bit of an update for you folks. I've, I've done a couple of treatments with the dye pool now. And I'm hoping to see some dead caterpillars for the clip that I want to shoot next week. And then, um, yeah, um, that'll probably come to um, YouTube. Not this weekend, weekend after, or maybe the next if I'm pacing things out. We'll see how we go. I'm actually working on the... Um, that's a bean beetle, by the way. I'm actually working on the um, Aussie fish clip today, and Bruce has been very, very generous. Had a bit of a chat to him, and he's letting me go back through his back catalogue and use a lot of his older clips. I've just seen one of the caterpillars. There he is. I'll stick the light on. Just tuck the light on, and you might be able to see it start to turn yellow. So there you go. They are starting to die off. 
I haven't seen uh, the ones that are normally down in the centre there. So whether they've already died off. There's another sickly looking one right down the bottom there. In the centre of the screenish. So yeah, hopefully we'll see the uh, end of these guys very soon. But yeah, just a bit of a uh, quick clip. <laughs> Didn't splash much. A little bit. A little bit. So they probably don't like the fact I've got the light on. There we go, fish. I uh, put the um, camera down there this morning as well, trying to see what if there was something wrong with them because they weren't feeding. They were just all um, cruising around the bottom of the tank. I well, definitely say they got their appetite back now. How much is left? Give me a look. Not a lot. Not a lot. So that's about, oh, wow, they've almost eaten a um, whole afternoon's ration. So. Yeah, they're not down yet. Nope. Got their appetites back. <laughs> So if you enjoyed that little bit of a um, sneak peek at the mealworms, not only that, uh, a little bit of a look at the aquaponics and that uh, sacrificial cabbage there I can tell you is pretty much well caterpillar free now so I should be able to knock together a clip on um, the caterpillar control in aquaponics or pest control in aquaponics over the next week or so. I've got a compost cage to build and a few other bits I need to do this week as well so we'll just see how we go. But yeah, I do hope you're enjoying these vlogs and also the polls over on the community tab. They're just a bit of fun. Uh, feel free to just scroll on by them when you see the posts uh, pop up on your wall if you don't enjoy them. But yeah, if you feel like it, leave a like, do a vote and a comment down below in the polls. I'd really appreciate it. Gives me a few ideas about what to uh, film later on down the track. But I will pretty much all leave it there. Stop waffling on. Thanks again to all you folks who do check out these clips weekly. Thanks to all the supporters on YouTube and Farm Your Own Yard pages. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I'll pretty much leave it there. Cheers, folks, and I'll catch you next clip. Have a good one. So there's our little green tree frog friend. For whatever reason, he's decided that the bearer under the deck is a nice place to hang out. So yeah, he's been rather noisy the last couple of days, but we've had a bit of rain as well. But I'll let him be. Have a good one, folks.